Chileski. I'm a research entomologist with the USDA Appalachian Fruit Research Station in Kearneysville, West Virginia. Uh, we are at Catoctin Mountain Orchard and we are looking at damage from the brown marmorated stink bug. Um, in this insect, which is an invasive species that was introduced from Asia probably in the mid-1990s, has emerged as a serious pest of tree fruit throughout the mid-Atlantic region this season. Um, this is the type of injury that the insect causes on the fruit. Now it's not just the adults, it's the adults and nymphs, but on apple what we observe are these uh, depressed corky areas and if you cut the flesh of the fruit you can see these brown areas beneath the surface of the fruit and this is caused by the adult inserting its mouth parts, uh, injecting salivary enzymes to help um, uh, break down the tissue and this allows the insect to then suck up the juices. And so we are seeing severe injury throughout central Maryland, the eastern panhandle of West Virginia, southeastern Pennsylvania, and into New Jersey. And so throughout the season there has been a lot of injury also on uh, peach, nectarine, um, and of course apple. And this pest is also not limited to stone fruit and tree fruit in general. It's also found in corn, um, vegetables including uh, tomatoes and sweet peppers, soybeans, and so this pest has definitely emerged and become very serious. Is there, what type of control is available? Uh, right now, really what growers have been forced to do is sort of almost dismantle their IPM programs and use sort of the more stout contact insecticides, things like Lanate and the pyrethroids to try to manage this insect. The problem is, is that this is an insect that operates at a landscape level, so there is constant pressure from the outside with new adults coming into the orchard and potentially reproducing nymphs feeding on the fruit. And so it's a persistent problem essentially from early season in April up until harvest.